Welcome back, everyone, to the 2021 Bowling Promotion Tour, sponsored by Cubica AMF. Once again, we're here at Silver Bowl in Bocuse, France, about 200 miles northwest of Paris. I'm Bruce Hall, and I'll be your commentator for the international version of these matches. This is the second of 22 matches we will be bringing you as part of this series, and you can see the entire schedule at BowlingPromotionTour.com. Today's match is the second in a stepladder mixed doubles Baker format, and we have the doubles teams of England's Sarah Hood and Jack Blythe, who defeated France in convincing, convincing fashion in our first match, against the very tough USA team of Amy and Chris Vialli. The winner of this match moves on to face Sweden, and the winner of that match bowls our number one seed, the pro team of Daria Payoke and Matt McNeil. Let's kick things off with England's Sarah Hood, who goes Brooklyn and gets the strike. It's the late roll on the 10 pin. So give England the strike in the first frame and kick things off very nicely. And let's take our first look at the USA team's Amy Vialli. Amy and Christopher live in Massachusetts in the USA, not far from the Boston area. And Amy rolls that one up the just out inside the first arrow and a little bit high, leaving a three pin. And you can see she gets it outside. We're on a 41 foot oiling pattern and there is definitely dry outside of the track. And Amy's ball may have read a little bit of that dry as it rolled early and went up high in the pocket. And so Amy comes down, completes the spare of the three pin, no problem. And now we will see our first look at Christopher Vialli. Christopher, very involved in bowling, trying to bring bowling to the Olympics. He's the president of the New England Bowlers Association, a club that's been around for 55 plus years. Throws it out to the right and rips the rack. That's a 900 Global Zen ball. And watch this cross right over between the second and third arrow. He gets it out to those dry boards. And look at the power on that shot. Beautiful strike there by Christopher Vialli. And now our first look at Jack Blythe. Sarah and Jack shot 268 against the French team in the first match. In convincing fashion, had a beautiful look to the pocket. Just like that is how they did it. And let's give England the early lead with the double. And what we didn't show was a spare by Sarah. So that's going to give the English team a spare in the third. And now here's Amy in her third frame. And once again, over that first arrow and a little bit high in the pocket, she's going to leave a three pin once again. And I think Amy needs to move her feet left a little bit, get inside, get around that second arrow as opposed to the first arrow. And once again, just like the first frame, covers the three pin to give England the nine pin lead going into the fourth frame. The winner of this match bowls the Swedish team of Nora Johansson and Carl Eklund. Looking forward to seeing those folks come up in our next match. And the winner of that match, of course, bowling the pro team of Matt McNeil and Daria Payok. And Christopher slips on that shot. Boy, very rare to see him fall off. It must have stuck or something. Let's see if we can get a look at his footwork here and see what happens. I'm looking at his left foot. He definitely looks like he's stuck on that slide step and leaves a very nasty three, four, six, seven split. And this is going to be a very difficult conversion. You need to get the ball to the right of the three pin, slide it over to the four, seven. I have seen Christopher do, do it many times, uh, but not today. Unfortunately, he gets only two. So this is going to give England the lead in the early going. And they'll have a 20. Six pin lead, 27 pin lead going into this fourth frame and looking very good once again to win their second match. And here's a shot by 
Gets a shot by Jack, gets the rolling four pin, can't get it to go. So that's going to give the English team the 26 pin lead in the fourth frame should Jack convert this four pin. He'll stay with his strike ball and go cross lane and shoot at this four pin relatively straightforward spare. Jack just 17 years old in this competition. So great to see bowlers from all around the world competing, touring around France. And I already know that the 2022 version of these matches is likely to be very, very well attended. We've already heard of several teams already from the U.S. Uh, talking about going. They actually happen in September. And so if you want details on that, check out BowlingPromotionTour.com. And here's Sarah once again trying to get the English team back on the strike train after Jack picks up that four pin with no problem. And throwing that venom, that's a more aggressive ball than she threw in the first match. And she is a little bit deeper on the lane as well. Throws that right over the fourth arrow. Perfect strike by Sarah. And that's going to give the English team 88 in the fourth frame to USA's 62. So a 26-pin lead now for the English team. Can they hang on to face Sweden in our next match? And here's Amy. And... Amy makes the move. That ball crossed right around the fourth arrow and splits the rack. Beautiful shot there by Amy right up the ninth board or so. And look at that ride, that track area that we saw, that we saw England use so effectively in the last match. Now here's Christopher once again with that Zen. I will tell you that I have drilled one of those, and it's one of the most productive bowling balls I've thrown uh, in the last few years, and just a wonderful piece. And here's Christopher. That's in around the third arrow. and Gets the strike. That's a double. And that's going to cut the English lead down to 16. And Christopher deeper on that shot. He didn't go as far out as the other, the other balls that he threw, but used that oil line down the track effectively to get the ball to the pocket and build on Amy's strike for a double. Now here is Jack, and he respond. And I will tell you that this USA team can, can bring the heat, so let's see what Jack does here. Gets that right over 12. Beautiful shot. Splits the rack. And excellent response to Amy and Christopher's double there. He says, come on, give it to me. Yeah, baby, come on now. Great shot. And now here's Sarah. Threw a perfect strike last time. She is, seems to have found the line. And let's see how she does here in the seventh frame. To extend the England's lead. Gets it out to the right a little bit. Doesn't quite make the corner. Didn't look like to be too bad a shot, but I think she had it in the oil. So that's going to be a variant of the bucket. The 2 4 5 7. And let's see if she can make this. She's going with the plastic ball. A lot of people hook at this spare. But she's going straight at it with the plastic ball, so she's got to get it right at the three pin, and unfortunately pulls it by. It is only going to get two, so that's going to give the English team 140 in the seventh. And now, if Amy can find a way to strike here, this will actually give the USA team the lead. We'll have a lead change if Amy can strike here. Right up second arrow, right where the shot is. Beautiful shot there by Amy. And indeed, the English team now falls behind by two. And Christopher can extend the USA's lead with another strike here. He's got a pretty good look with that Zen right between the second and third arrow. He's got it going out to the dry boards. And let's see what he does here. 
He gets that one way outside. Is he going to get it back? He does get it back for the mixer with the late kick on the seven pin. Huge strike for the U.S. team. And Christopher knew he got a little bit of a break there. But boy, all that power off his hand came in handy when he got it out to the dry boards. Got that ball back to get the mixer strike with the seven pin. So the pressure now squarely on Jack as the USA team has taken the 12 pin lead. Now, can Jack respond? Being only 17, this is a tough situation to be in. You're on TV at 17. That was a good shot, and that's a flat seven. Excuse me, flat 10. And roll up, roll up, roll up. Doesn't quite make the corner. So that six pin falls in the channel, does not do its job kicking out the 10. And he wanted it, but couldn't quite get it to turn the corner there. So needs to cover this up and hope that uh, Sarah can set them up for some strikes in the last couple of frames to put the pressure back on the USA. Jack, of course, with the plastic spare ball going cross lane. Anybody who's um, looking to improve their spare percentages cross lane definitely would, would advise a plastic ball to do that. And good shot there, covering the 10 pin by Jack. And here's Sarah. Can she get the strike here? 220 maximum available for the English team. And the U.S. team going at a 214 clip. So fairly important now that the English team set themselves up for the 10th frame to have a chance here. And there's a good shot there over by the track. And once again, really similar hit as, as Jack's as she has the 6-pin fall into the channel, leaving the 10-pin. And she did like it. Oh, couldn't get it to make the corner. And unfortunately, back-to-back -back weak 10s are not what the English team was looking for here in the late going with the U.S. team on a four-bagger right now. And there's Sarah shooting at the 10 pin. Unfortunately, hooks by it. That, that plastic ball actually hooked on her. I don't think she expected that. And goes nine out for an open for 168 in the ninth, giving them the, the English team a maximum 198 game. So here's Amy. She could close the door right here if she could strike. Pretty good shot. Oh, unfortunately, she was right over the second arrow, but might have got it a little bit slow, and it hooked up to the beak and leaves the 6-10. And let's see if Amy can convert this cross lane spare. She's going to go with her spare ball. Now watch the way she shoots this. I love the way Amy shoots these right side spares. She's actually going to throw a backup ball. So here she goes, and the ball backs up, covers the 6'10 beautifully. I've always liked that about her game. So here's the situation. The U.S. team going at a 2'12 clip. And they just need to beat 198, which means Christopher basically needs nine here. Nine would do it. And let's see what he does. He actually switched balls. Uh, that's a perfect strike. That's going to give the game to the USA. Christopher looks like he balled down from that Zen, even though he'd thrown the last, looks like, three strikes with it. And uh, he uh, balled down, went right, and straighter up the track. And a uh, great shot there. So give the USA team the win. They will move on to face the Swedish team of Nora Johansson and Carl Eklund. We'll see that match next. And Christopher comes up a little bit high for the four pin. And the USA coming from behind, throwing a clutch four bagger in the back half of the game to put the pressure on England and capture this second of these four stepladder matches. Once again, it's the 2021 Bowling Promotion Tour. You can see all the matches at BowlingPromotionTour.com when they're coming out. We'll have matches out about every couple of days.
And now we'll see Jack Blythe wrap things up here. And he's going to try to get the double for the 198, giving Glenn the best score that they can get. And oh, <laughs> there's some insult to injury. He throws a perfect shot in the pocket and leaves the smash seven pin. That wasn't very nice. We saw actually saw uh, uh, France do that last game on that lane. Uh, so that wasn't a very nice break there. But Jack wouldn't expect any problem picking up the seven pin and then with a 188 maximum now for the English team. A good showing by by this team and young Jack Blythe and uh, and Sarah. And good shot there, covering the seven pin. Once again, we'll be back in a couple of days with the match between the USA and Sweden. And looking forward to that match very much with the winner of that match facing the pro team of Matt McNeil and Daria Payok. And that should be a couple of fun matches to watch coming up. So. Once again, Bruce Hall here. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button and you'll be notified whenever these videos come up. And there's, <laughs> there's a 5-7 that Jack leaves, leaving the final score for the English 186. So 212 to 186, USA defeats Team England. We'll move on to face the Swedish team next. Thanks everybody for watching and we'll see you back on this channel soon.